Hi, sixth graders. Welcome back. I hope you had a great week off last week. Today is the week of, or this week is the week of April 5th through 9th. So um, we are going to be continuing on looking at some different properties of matter this week, which is moving into section 1.2 of the textbook. And what we're focusing on for properties of matter this week are physical and chemical properties and what the difference between those are. So on Monday, you are going to read and complete notes for 1.2. So we're going to be reading in the textbook. So we will be having a live Google Meet, and you can follow along and read with the class at 1045 if you would like to do that. Or you can do it on your own. So we will click on that. Computer is kind of slow loading today. All right, so we're going to be reading pages 21 to 23. And as we read, we'll fill in this note sheet. So if you are a distance learner, this is in the packet on page 9. And then it goes on to page 10 of your packet. Or you can make a digital copy and type it in. Okay. Right here is the online textbook and audio if you would prefer to have it read to you. All right. And then I do have a copy of the notes filled in correctly. I still need you to read in the textbook, but you can um, check to make sure you have everything filled in correctly once you are finished. So we're gonna be starting this on Monday and then finishing it on Tuesday. And then, oops, that's not yours, that's seventh grade. Okay, sorry about that. And then we're gonna finish it Tuesday and then we have a lesson review on Tuesday as well once we're finished. So that will be in the textbook. So you can write the answers right in your textbook on those pages. And I believe it is pages 32 to 33. And then please take a picture and submit it on to this, um, this Schoology assignment right here. Um, I, we will be going through this and correcting it on Wednesday at the beginning of class in the Google Meet. So if it's submitted before then, then you will be able to correct it and make sure that you have the correct answers. Um, oh my gosh, I keep going into the wrong one. I'm sorry. Okay. Then Wednesday, we're going to be doing some stations and after we'll correct the lesson review and then you're going to be doing some stations and here is the distance learning version here. All right, just so type in the boxes of the slideshow document. So you'll click on your My Document. Right. It's very slow. All right, so it says go through the and answer the questions or do the activities on the slides. Okay, so to summarize it, um, it says read the provided science article, summarize the main ideas and key concepts from the article, and write them on your student recording sheet. Your summary must be written in complete sentences and should be detailed. So you're going to read through this article. You can make it bigger um, to read. It's two pages long. And then you are going to write a summary of the main idea and key concepts right in that box. Then for create, it says use words, phrases, pictures, diagrams, or icons to create a graffiti wall. All students in the class will contribute to this creation. Select five ideas from the graffiti wall and write them on your student recording sheet. So basically, you're going to pick five terms or five important concepts, and you're going to um, use word art to make, to make it look pretty in here. So to do that, you can, um, if you go to insert, Sorry, it's not insert. I got to move my camera over. Hold on. So you can format the text and you can do um, different kinds of text on here. You can do different kinds of colors. You can go to insert word art and then um, it allows you to type in some words that makes it bigger. Um, you can do some different options with it. Um, if you can't figure that out, just go ahead and type five concepts, um, maybe in different colors. Okay. For interpret, it says interpret the provided graph, data table chart, diagram, and or picture. Answer the questions. So you're going to look at these cards. There are four different examples, and you'll answer the questions, and you answer them on this next slide. So you'll type in these blue boxes what the answers are. Uh, for navigate, 
It says using the cards that have been provided, locate the card with the word start on it and place it down. Read the question or statement on the bottom of the card and find the matching answer at the top of another card within the set. Continue to navigate through the cards until all cards have been correctly matched and placed in order. Locate the symbol, letter, or number in the top right corner of each card. Write the symbols, letters, and our numbers on your student recording sheet in the order you matched each card. So basically what you're doing, if you click on this one, so you'll start with the card that says uh, start on it. Where is it? I can't see because they're so small. Mm. Okay, I found it. This one says start right here in green. So you put that down first, and I would maybe put it down here. And then it says state of matter, the force between objects that produces fields that attract or repel other objects. So I'm looking at, well, what is that definition? And that would be magnetism. And I can put it on top or right next to it, okay? And then at the end, you'll um, keep matching them, and then you'll ma or write down all those little red letters in the corner. Move that back up. All right. And then you'll write those letters in the boxes in order here. Uh, the challenge we're not doing extend then you it says read the provided scenario extend your knowledge of science in the real world and answer the questions that follow so the question says identify five properties of matter that you encounter every day be detailed in your explanation all right so then go ahead and just uh, submit that once you are finished all right okay so that's going to be wednesday and Thursday, you're finishing that up. So two days, okay? And then on Friday, you're going to do a study island, properties of matter. Remember to go to, to get to study island, you have to go into rapid identity and open up study island. And then if you go into classes and science, you should find our class and um, the properties of matter study island will be right in there. All right, so that is what you're doing this week. Google Meets on Monday and Wednesday. Um, yeah. So I hope to see you guys there. Let me know if you need help with anything. Have a good week.